At Three Rivers Stadium, the Pittsburgh Steelers and Houston Oilers banged heads to determine which team would keep pace with the Bengals in the AFC Central. Last season, Oiler quarterbacks were sacked 33 times, but so far in 1975, defenses have reached them on just eight occasions. But against the steel curtain, their offense was a straw man blown down by a black-shirted wind. Pittsburgh's defense is the toughest unit to score against in the AFC. They take immense satisfaction in this statistic, and nowhere is it more evident than down deep at their goal line. Turnovers are a key factor in Steeler victories, and last year they caused more of them than any other team in the AFC. The Steeler defense works in perfect pitch with its offense, and only rarely does Terry Bradshaw display the gluttony for points that so characterized his developing years. Facing an oiler rush that is tied for the NFL leadership in quarterback traps, Bradshaw feathered his passes, a nuance that has turned him into a passer rather than a thrower. Receivers like Lynn Swan, number 88, have a knack for being alone when the ball arrives, a skill that is enhanced by Bradshaw's ability to buy time in the pocket. Terry, like Fran Tarkenton, has a unique gift for opening up the seams in a zone by scrambling laterally, then unloading on the run. This tactic resulted in six easy points for tight end Larry Brown and a 17-7 Pittsburgh lead. Unlike Bradshaw, the Oilers' Dante Pastorini is not a running quarterback. While Bradshaw is muscled and sturdy, Pastorini is slender as an oboe and just as fragile. His good health is vital to Houston because while their offense seems to slog along, Pastorini has the capacity and the history for producing the home run play when it's vitally needed. In contrast to former years when the weaponless Oilers crumbled under a physical beating, this team is resilient and stocked with players who refuse to wilt under pressure or cave in when an opportunity of the moment is lost. can pick up the shattered pieces of their game. Number 84, Billy Johnson is such a man, and so is Ken Double O Burrow, a former hot dog turned hero and Bum Phillips' most notable reclamation project. The Euler offense is a time bomb that detonates with a flick of Pastorini's wrist. Trailing by 10 points, Houston rallied into a 17-all tie when low-slung Fred Willis, number 44, burrowed into Mike Wagner and the Steelers' end zone. Unfortunately for the Oilers, Pittsburgh slowly but surely is rounding into Super Bowl form. Like all champions, they seem to be able to produce when they are hard-pressed the most. With time ebbing, the Steelers stood 78 yards from the tiebreaker. 78 yards through a Houston defense that ranked second to their own in points allowed. Almost without effort, Bradshaw whipped his team goalward until he found John Stallworth embarrassingly open and hit him with a winning touchdown. This sure and swift execution of the rugged Oilers is a chill warning to the Bengals and the rest of the American Football Conference 
that the Pittsburgh Steelers are peaking at just the right moment. Blessed with a balanced offense and a ferocious defense, they wield a double-edged sword that is deliberately hacking a path to Super Bowl X.